Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Yesterday, one of my subscribers asked a question in the comment box if I would make a nice mobile pop-up menu. So, in this video, that's what exactly I'm going to do for you. I'm going to show you step by step how to create a mobile pop-up menu using Elementor Pro. So the first thing that you should have is by having Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro helps you to create both page headers and page footers and also pop-ups using this tool. To go to Elementor, you'll use my affiliate link which is gotaqg.com forward slash Elementor. Then once you are there, you'll install the plugin into your WordPress website and you come straight right here to Theme Builder. Once you come to Theme Builder, go straight to the headers and the header section will bring you right straight down here and you'll be in position to create new headers. Once you create a new header, you'll be having the possibility to have a header just like this. You can import from a couple of templates that have been made already by Elementor, which are actually header templates just like this. Or you can simply create yours from scratch. I already created my header right here. I had to use the menu navigation element which comes with Elementor Pro and then I could style up whatever I want. I have this version of the header. However, part of the elements are not going to appear on the desktop version, but also part of the elements are going to appear on the desktop version and not on the mobile version. So this is what I'm trying to mean here. For example, now I'm previewing the header here on the desktop version. And that means we are seeing all these elements, the logo, the navigation element, and the contact button. However, something is missing. You see this? This is missing on the desktop version. You simply hide that element on the desktop and the tablet version. And to do that, you basically have to go to advanced. Once you click on that section, and then you hide both on desktop and tablet. That means I want that element to appear on mobile devices and this is how it looks like just like this so in this case we have hidden both the middle section which has the navigation menu and also the contact button so we are only remaining with two elements that are appearing on the desk on the mobile version and let me show you exactly how i did that when you come to the column which is holding the navigation element and go to advanced come right here to responsive you see that I have hidden this column on the tablet and the mobile devices. So it is only showing up on the desktop. And then this other column that I added at the very last, I had to hide it on the desktop and on the tablet version. And it's only showing on the mobile device. So now let's head straight into how we are going now to use this section on the mobile device. We had now to create our pop-up and our pop-up is going to look just like this. And to do that, because now we want to create our pop-up to be a mobile menu, we basically had to come under the theme builder and then we create a pop-up. And pop-ups are basically here. Once you come to templates, pop-ups, then you can create pop-ups. You just have to say add new pop-up, name that pop-up. Then you create the pop-up, you'll come right straight here to the pop-up editor. And you'll have this kind of setup. So with Elementor, you can still add as many elements as possible to your pop-up widget. So let me say, if I want to add like a video, I can simply drag the video element, paste it here, and then add in whatever content I want to link up there. If I don't want the video element to appear, I simply can just delete it here. I can add another element. I can add slides. Once I add slides into my section, then that means that I can display slides in my pop-up. However, that's not what I want. I simply just have to delete that element. So you can add as many elements as possible or elements that you want to appear in your pop-up element. Once you finish setting up your pop-up, that is actually going to have your logo. In this case, we want our pop-up to appear with a logo since it's going to be a menu and a mobile menu. And then also adding elements like the navigation element just like this and I set it to be a menu and then the layout is vertical and then right down here the breakpoint I selected 9 so it won't break and then I also added another element which is a button it can take you anywhere you can give it another link that takes your visitor somewhere on your website specifically 
but here the main focus is on the navigation element. So once you finish creating your pop-up with the navigation menu and the links that you want to appear on your mobile pop-up, you simply update and once you update or publish, that means that you'll have the possibility to add display conditions to your pop-up and you basically decide to display your pop-up to a specific section of your website and here i have selected a condition that says entire entire site means that it's going to show all over the whole site wherever someone clicks or attempts to access the pop-up and here on the triggers you have to set it to be on click because we want that when someone clicks on our menu actually the pop-up shows up and then on the advanced rules, you are going to specify that you want that pop-up only to show up on the devices selected below. So in this case, I selected the tablet and the mobile device. I had to exclude the desktop device because still on the desktop version, I'm going to be having this other menu. Once you are done setting up your pop-up settings, the conditions, the triggers and the advanced rules, you save and close. So now we are done creating our pop-up, having the logo element and having our navigation element and also a call to action. So next thing we have to do is to head back to our header and come right here to the section that is going to display the navigation and that means it's the menu and we want that when someone clicks on this menu or this item, it will pop up, it will bring the menu pop-up. So what you have to do is select this element, come right here to because this is actually a button so you select the button element come right here to link select dynamic and come straight down here to actions there is an option that says pop-up so once you select that option it will show up down here and you select the pop-up that you want to open so you just say the action is supposed to be open and then the pop-up select the pop-up that you have created which is the mobile pop-up menu and then say update once you say update that means that now we have instructed our header on the mobile version that once we click on this section of our header it will pop up or it will bring up the pop-up mobile navigation element this is what happens this is the desktop version of the website the element or the section doesn't appear so now once we go to our mobile website which is actually going to display our mobile pop-up menu and once we click on the menu icon, boom, our mobile pop-up menu shows up. And here it will also perfectly perform just like horizontal navigation that works on the main site. For example, if I go to the about page, it will open up the about page. Once I'm done navigating around the about page, I can just go back to the navigation, click, boom. Then I want now to check on the contact page and it it takes me straight there and then at the same time if I want to navigate to another page I just click here boom then I can decide to go back to the home page by simply clicking on the logo and straight here it takes me so now if I take you to the live environment now this is a live environment where I'm not logged into the site I can just reload this And still it worked the same way so I can just click over here boom it shows up and I can navigate simply anywhere I want if I want to close the navigation just click over here if I want to check over again some other thing I just click on the contact maybe if that's what I want to check out I navigate through the whole page yeah I can even decide to click here on the logo just to go back on the home page however if I still just need to navigate through my navigation which is a pop-up this is how you do it. That's how you create a mobile pop-up menu using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And it takes just a couple of steps. Just to recap, you basically have to create the main navigation, decide which elements you want to appear on the desktop version and the mobile version, hide those elements and only reveal those that you want to reveal. Then go straight and create your pop-up. Once you finish creating your pop-up, select the element that you want to display the navigation on click. Once you select it, give it a dynamic link. Once you set that dynamic link, go to actions, pop-ups, select the pop-up that you want to display. And then don't forget to set up the pop-up conditions on display. That means on the entire site, on click, 
and also on the devices that you want it to show up on so guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new other tutorials when i push them out and uh, if you have any suggestions on any tutorials that i can make feel free to suggest them in the comment box below